it's it's so cold out there it just is so cold <laughs> um yeah i was in my hey I just got in here. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. I couldn't go back to sleep. So I'm really dealing with four hours of sleep right now. I, yeah, I, and I'm gonna just kind of continue on with it and really get things aligned up. And if it's aligned, yeah. Well, love you. Bye. I've got my lights charging, my colored lights. My my uh, laptop is charging. That was down to 24%. And now I'm going to go take a bath. Okay? Okay? <laughs> well, I'm good. It's starting to get warm in here. I've got the heater going, so I'm doing all right. makeup brushes these are clean washed all those this is a chance to clean up yeah so I'll let these dry these are kind of thick this takes about a day to dry I should do a makeup tutorial sometime I know you've asked me about that Asked me about that, if I could get my mouth to work. Yeah. These I don't use very much in here. I got these at Sephora. The really nice makeup brushes. I needed them so bad. There we go. Much. Yeah, kind of fun. I know, guys, you love to see all this. You know, here... I've got everything soaking. I've got my uh, bucket, pea bottle. This is a container I keep my pea bottle in. I'm even washing this. I already have my numerous tub soaks. So, and these aren't that dirty, you know? So, I'm just soaking them. I'm going to wash them all out. Here's, here's the area where I. <laughs> yeah, right. I think you know, yeah. This is the bathroom sink. I know, it's also strange, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I've got a bathroom in here. Where most of you, you just take it for granted, but us, us um, <laughs> barbarians who live in our vans, yeah. This is like, this is like heaven, huh? Okay, made some coffee. I had to, they don't, they don't have a coffee maker in here. So I had to go out to my car. 29 degrees this morning. I've had so many of you mention that 30 degrees or even 28 degrees isn't all that cold. Au contraire. In Southern Arizona, I've mentioned it, but so really, in Southern Arizona, we're, uh, people are not used to that. So if you're in Minnesota, 
and you came down here, you'd probably be warm. Because I know we can get up to minus 10, minus 17 degrees up there. So for I'm talking about Southern Arizona. 20, it was 28 degrees when I went out into my van. It was really cold and I made my coffee. Plus, living in a van, come on. You gotta, you gotta understand that it's cold out there. Living in any van, unless you have a, a heater going on in your, your van. Well, I do have a heater that I can use, sure. But as a rule, you don't wanna run your van all the time. So yeah, it does get cold. And at night, it does get really cold. You really have to bundle up. So it's not like I'm in a house and it's like, oh, you're telling me, oh, well, it's like minus 17 degrees here. I assure you, you're probably in a house. Whereas um, on nomads and all the rest of us van dwellers, the community, we're living um, like barbarians out there. <laughs> I call it barbarians. It's a great life, it really is. So really, I need to rest this um, idea that 30 degrees in Southern Arizona, ah, oh, pish posh. You know, not, not if you're in a van and not if you're used to 110 degree weather. Because I'm sure in Minnesota, this it doesn't get 110. So cheers. Cheers to being cold. Cheers to surviving this cold. Something else, oh. a another factor is that. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people are like, it's so cold. People in quartzite right now. I've never heard of it so cold in quartzite um, all day. It usually warms up, but it hasn't been warming up this week. So here's the thing. In Arizona, except in Flagstaff, okay, higher elevation, but in regular Arizona, in the desert, you really only have like five weeks, maybe, of really extreme weather. That's it. So you almost hate to complain. You really do because, you know, it's 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 going to it's going to warm up. In fact, next week um I've looked at the temperatures around where most of the van dwellers are going to be going and where I'm at. Um it's going to it's going to be fine. It's going to get up to like 73 in the afternoon. Yeah, I mean that's doable. It's totally doable. So it's going to be great. It's going to be great, right? Mm. Good coffee. Well, I'm going to go get some breakfast and I'll show you what I got, okay? Okay. there <laughs> very cold but I said who cares that's what I said to the guy that was serving at the lobby people in Arizona and Tucson they understand that this is just so temporary <laughs> so he made me oatmeal I put flax seed chia seeds and hemp seeds on the top I'm just going to eat the top of this I got some tea I'm gonna eat these, oh yeah. And these are some uh, chocolate chip. They got the big ones here. I don't wanna eat those now. I think I might put them away for a treat later. Okay, let's see if we can get this. Oatmeal's under there. Yeah. I've mentioned before when I stayed here, but if you're new, they have this huge Instapot. I mean, it's big, it's like this big. And they make oatmeal. Every morning they serve oatmeal. It's an oatmeal breakfast. And then they have a smorgasbord of things to put in them. Um, nuts, all different kinds of nuts, brown sugar. They give you cream milk or almond milk. And they have Pop-Tarts. I've eaten those before. I've heard that it, even in Europe, <coughs> they don't um, sell Pop-Tarts. So I don't want to eat them, yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's taste this. 
Mm -hmm. I put cream in mine. I like the fat. This thing now, I mean, I think this has been for a while now that fats are really good for you over the past 10 years. Your brain is really made up of fat and you need it for your brain. Mm. Okay. English breakfast tea. Mm. Very good. I'm watching the um, great, the Great British Baking Show again. I just love it. I love watching it. I love baking. Although I don't anymore, but I did. Mm -mm. Eat the top of this. I like to eat chia seeds. You can make like a chia pudding, have you ever heard of that? Where you put chia seeds, I forget the amount, maybe like a tablespoon of chia seeds and then um, put milk in it. Oh, you, you can actually use orange juice or something like that. Put milk in it and then uh, stir it up. And then uh, what I would do is put it in like a container, little container with a lid and I would shake it every once in a while and uh, let it set for 20 minutes it's like a pudding. And I'll tell you, chia seeds are wonderful because what they do is, one of the things they do is they help remove metals out of your body. Chemtrails, you know, whatever they're spraying us. I've heard they're spraying like aluminum on top of us. And then metals that are in our food, things like that. So chia seeds will help remove that. Now flax seeds, I forget what flax seeds were for that are really good for you. you can let me know or I could look it up, but flax seeds and then um, hemp seeds are really good for you too. And that's what they offer. They're kind of a, this is kind of a hippie place, right up my alley, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. shake out my rugs and kind of straighten up see if there's anything else that I want to go ahead and wash up while I'm here it's 30 degrees in my van This nice. Hmm. 
Yeah, this is, Paul got me this two years ago for my birthday at Dillard's. He said, what do you want? And I said, I've always wanted one of these. They had lavender and different colors, but I thought turquoise or a sea green would be good. It's 30 degrees in here. Now, if I was in here, it wouldn't be. If I was actually in here all night, it would be probably about like 40. Yeah. Now I can start putting my stuff back in. you that in Tucson they have a program my heaters on it's kind of fuzzy they have a program called operation deep freeze and any homeless people if a if a policeman sees anybody out um, during this time uh, they pick them up and take them somewhere where they can uh, get inside and get warm so yeah and then I just want to mention I know every once in a while I get a a comment when I wash things out like well that's horrible you're washing your pee bottle out no I take a bath in there I mean I got my private parts open in there right <laughs> it's okay it's okay and I'm paying for it I mean if this was a bed and breakfast I'd be washing things out right there's a sink and there's you know water running so yeah it gives me a chance now, I do remember in Flagstaff there was this one gal that um, and she highly educated. She was there working on her PhD and she was doing some research and she was an older gal and she would bring in this huge in like a, almost like a little dolly, you know, those little dollies and carry in things. And when I was in the restroom in Planet Fitness, she was in the sink washing her dishes. She would go in one of those rooms where you get dressed and she kind of like took over that. And uh, she was just washing everything out. So, you know, nomads, we have to be creative and we need to, to stay clean and wash things out. So that's that. I have one more thing to wash out. so happy, happy. Um, I'm happy to go back out in my day and it's not just because I'm here. It's happy. Sadness has fleed. <laughs> I'm happy. I really am. And got everything cleaned up. It's a good day, isn't it? Yeah, I'm excited about life. Because, one reason is because it's, um, in Arizona, I mean, this is, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump to just really spring. Spring in Tucson is gorgeous. And I want to mention again, um, Bread and Butter Cafe. I called it a diner. It reminds me of a diner, but it's Bread and Butter Cafe. It's on 22nd and Columbus area. Yeah, really nice, good food. I think I might go get a piece of pie today. Why not? I can splurge a little bit, right? Well, I've got time. It's only 8 o'clock. I've got three more hours. I've got pretty much everything done. Now I can relax. Watch a movie. Or more baking. It's making me hungry, though. And just enjoy myself. I love you guys. Hey, everyone. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Check your subscription. Make sure that you're subscribed. Thanks for watching it all the way through, everybody. 
Yeah, life is good. Good things are coming our way. Good things are coming your way. They're coming my way. It's just, it's just right there. Expect good outcomes. I had a gal ask me, she said that she was in the Tacoma, Washington area. She said she was a music teacher, I think, and she had to go to this recital. But while she was there, um, previously, uh, somebody had smashed her window. So Washington's having a horrible time. Well, I just found her message last night, and she says, do I have any suggestions for her because she has to go to another recital? Well, I, my, my reply was, yes, I do have a suggestion. Expect good outcomes. What are the chances that they're going to target her car again and smash out her windows that previously cost her like $500? What are the chances? They're thin. They're slim. So I said, just expect good outcomes. Go and just, um, you know, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You can't live your life in fear. And that's what happens when something bad happens in a certain situation. You're always afraid of that. Like if you have a panic attack in Walmart, chances are somebody with panic attacks, they probably won't go back to Walmart, any Walmart. But that's, you, you can't live that way because after a while then you start eliminating all kinds of um, situations. So I say, expect good outcomes. Just like with me, I mean, you'd say, well, oh, I'll never open my heart again. I'll never find love again, or I'll never uh, want love again. That's not true. I'm gonna expect good outcomes the next time. And, and I'm sure that, that Paul will too. And it doesn't mean that it's, it's over. Nothing's over. I mean, take chances, take the risk. Don't live your life in fear. Don't live your life in sadness. Don't be sad for too long. I felt my sadness and now I'm okay. I, it's, I, it's been some good time and I've realized if you can look at your past and learn from it and say, okay, I, I've examined this, I've asked questions, and, I, and now I can go on. If you can learn from it, if you can turn a bad experience into wisdom, you got it going on. You just do. You, you're so far ahead of the game because things are not going to work out sometimes. Things are going to happen. Um, and I say don't close yourself up to places to go. Um, because of one bad experience just and, and and it wasn't a bad experience with Paul it was just probably not uh, meant to be so basically um, yeah let's keep our hearts open to everything and keep our eyes open learn from it learn from the, learn about those red flags learn about if it you know if, if you sense it it it, it isn't um, working don't keep going back over and over and over again yeah just move on and say okay I'm gonna feel sad for a little while and then I'm gonna move on so that's my advice if something bad has happened don't just cut it off don't cut it off just learn from it and learn um, where you question where you went wrong on that and in in the example of your her windows getting smashed out the chances of that happened again if it did i told her well, i want to know how it turns out because i'm sure it'll turn out just fine so okay i hope that you enjoyed this and i hope that this is good information for you i like to share bye everybody i love you tomorrow new stuff bye